The storied history of Liberia, including its two civil wars, has led to a number of outcomes. Well, in about 250,000 people killed uh, from the two civil wars, one starting from 1989 to the year to 1996, and also from 1999 to 2003. Outside of the 250,000 people dead, well, they have an ex-president who's been incarcerated, uh, Charles Taylor. And also we've seen the exodus of uh, thousands of Liberians from uh, that country to Ghana. Well, the Liberians that moved from that country to Ghana as a result of the two civil wars settled in uh, majorly here in the Budumburum camp, here in the Gumwa East district, Gumwa Fete. Now that happened as a result of the facilitation of the UNHCR in the year 1919. Now 31 years on, the camp is still standing. But after September 30, all residents within the camp are expected to vacate, to make way for a demolition exercise. Well, mainly because the local authorities and the local persons, the chiefs and the citizens within the Guma Fete area say that the camp has more or less uh, become um, an area that harbors uh, criminals. Now, on today's edition of the City Newsroom, we have come to the camp on September 30 to assess the situation. A day, the final day given to persons to evacuate. Are they going to leave? Are they ready to leave? And also, well, where would they go to if they leave? You're still watching the City Newsroom. We are going to speak to... Uh, you don't look too happy. Uh, because of breaking the camp. I don't get no place to go. Mm, mm, mm. I don't get money to rent. Mm. So we're begging them that they give us some time. Okay. okay. How, how long have you been here? I've been here almost 20 to 25 years now. When, when did you move to the Budubram camp? Which year? I came, I came to Budubram camp in 1990. 1990, that means 31 years. Then I go to Takrade, then I come back again. Okay, okay. Uh, so my husband come, me and my husband, my husband passed away, so now I'll be widow. Okay. So I no get money to go and rent. Then my people too, some people then no get money to go and rent. Some people too get small, small, small children without no place to go. Mm. So only thing we need, they, get, they will give us some time. Because they say criminals yeah. in camp here, we, we can't see them. Okay. Uh -huh. But when security here, I think they will rest that people doing that thing and run away and come and stay in camp here. Yeah, yeah. They can bring the problem with we innocent people. Okay. So we need security in camp here okay. to protect us. So for you, if you got a chance, will you go back to Liberia? Yeah, I'll go. Na 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 self. Na 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 self. They say you're the best here. I'll go go. So all you are looking for is a bus? To go back. And the only thing we need to go back. Okay. Can I refugee Bo and you and came here yeah. 2012? They told us that they had two options for us. And two, they two options were to be integrated to Ghanaian society mm -hmm. or go back to Liberia. Mm -hmm. We did not go to them to ask them for integration. They called, they brought the integration to us, process to us. And they know fully well that if you integrate a man into your society, there must be certain incentive given him. But since that time we took the integration, they have not come out with the incentive that belongs to us. And they are telling us they are about to demolish camp. A total embarrassment they are giving to us. If they were come 2012, they say, look, the only option we got for you, librarians here, is we we'll go back to Liberia. If we are going to get ourselves sitting down here, then we'll have ourselves to blink. But they brought that option. We didn't go to the office and ask them to, oh, please, we want to be in an easy grand Ghanaian okay. society. We, we, we they got the option to us, and we are waiting them to bring our, into, our, our package. And they have failed to bring our package and tell you all they are about to demolish camp. No. The embarrassment they are bringing to us in, in this place. Since last year, the end of last year, they took our names, they took our houses no more to repatriate us. Since then, when I will go to the office, say, you wait. When I will go to the office, say, you wait. When we got a formal notice three months ago yeah. that they were coming to demolish the yeah. camp and today was going to be the deadline. Mm. Okay, we went back to them. We said now the people are saying that they come to demolish the camp yeah. and we want to go home. Yeah. We put our names down for general repatriation. What did they say? So they said that, uh, uh, in fact, you know, they were just turning, turning, tracing us and go to the deadline. Now, outside of the Liberians well, within the Bundaburam camp, but Nigerians also make up uh, a very strong contingent within this camp. Now, in terms of the closure of the camp, one of the reasons that has gotten local authorities calling for it, for for the place to be shut down is the fact that people say that it is a den for criminals who commit activities and run into the camp to hide. The police has tagged this place as an area where a lot of criminals are and some people have pointed fingers 
at uh, the Nigerians within who live within this space. Now I have two Nigerian nationals here with me to talk to me talk to me about the closure of the camp and uh, what they make of the fact that all nationals, including Nigerians, have been asked to evacuate. We have made a provision for ourselves mm -hmm. because you can't fight the government. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? So, church is to make law, I mean to help the government, to help the environment. So, we don't harbor criminals. We don't harbor them. We preach life. We preach good news. And we preach change. So when you preach change and they listen, they change. I don't since I remember since I'm here. For, hello, hello. When, when did you come here? Which nine year? years now. Okay. Nine years today. Are you also ready to leave? Uh, well, you know, the month, one month given was very, very short. To be honest with you, it's very short. At least they should have rain answer for a couple of months, so that people, family, those who have kids. We vacate, you know. How long? How long have you been here? No, I used to come and go. I'm a Nigerian, yes. so I come, I go, I come and go. So when, I mean, when was the last time you were like? How long have you been here now? I was in Nigeria last year. Last year I came here. Okay. So I came, but my woman, my wife, my kids they are here. You know, there is low cost. The, the life, living here is very low cost. Mm. So that's why some people we are not be able to afford a huge place. You know, the economy, the budget is low. That's why they manage here okay. for the meantime. But the notice they gave is just one month, the 31st. Well, the, the notice is supposed to... Uh, do you have legal residence here? No, of course. One of the main reasons why the local authorities are calling for the camp to be closed is that they say it's a den for criminals. People who commit crimes outside find a place, uh, this place as a safe haven. And Nigerians in particular have been accused of perpetrating such crime. As a Nigerian, what do you make of it uh, uh, in terms of the justification for the closure of this camp? Uh, my brother, it's absolutely disheartening to hear that a special race was tipped off, was being, hand being point on Nigerians. I know there is crime everywhere. So what we are saying is that there are a lot of people that are in here, they are not criminals, yes. precisely. There are also some who are. But how can you be able to find them? Because there's other places in Ghana, people commit crime. Mm. Other Nigerians, people commit crime. You, you see crutches everywhere. Mm. It's just to harbor one another. It's just to have, for the sake of humanity. Outside of the few or the crowd and uh, a few closed shops, it appears that uh, life here and the Budaburam come on the final day of, uh, of the camp's existence is going on as normal as normal can be. Food sellers are selling their meals, customers are patronizing, Okada riders are stationed waiting to pick passengers, and people, people doing business are going back and forth. But indeed, it is the final day as per the notice given by the local authority here at the Gomua East District. Now, after today, there is supposed to be a demolition exercise, but will there be a demolition exercise from the side of the Liberians who live here. I have here with me the leader of the li Liberian here who live within the Putin He's going to talk to me about the impending exercise. Now, I'm looking around, people are selling, people are moving about, but then we are supposed to, uh, there's supposed to be a demolition exercise after today. This, today is supposed to be the last day that people actually live in this camp. What, what, what do you say to that? Uh, people are selling because we have no source of income. That's the only thing that we are doing to survive. Mm. Now, with the threat every day demolition, demolition, we will not mind demolition in our boat when I got food to eat. Mm. So they have to sell and eat. Even as they break it down, the things, it will be good for everybody because they are nowhere to put it. If I don't sell it, they come and demolish it. Where, where am I putting it? So the reason you see people are selling today, there is nowhere to get food. That's the only thing they do to get food. You and the CIO, Ghana Review Board, they not come to our aid to say, oh, we are giving you compensation. No. So we are forced to sell. So September 30, the deadline, yeah. you've seen the notices. Yeah. Now, we know that in 2010, the UNHCR decommissioned this camp as a refugee you know, uh, camp. And now it's a settlement that does not only house refugees, but houses other nationals. People are here illegally and things like that. And the place has been described as a den for criminals. So for some, people don't have refugee status here because the camp has been decommissioned. Some persons have been repatriated back. So after today, people, the, the local authorities say no one has a justification to live here. Uh, the very first thing I want the Ghanaian public to know today, 
the issue of decommission will be broken. It is not true. You have car managers here. Let them prove me right or wrong that there are no car managers here. You still talking about 400 refugees here. If you decommission the camp, where are you keeping the 400 refugees? Uh, refugees from where? Liberal refugees. But then, but, but then you are only a refugee if you have an upholding threat that if you go back, you will be persecuted based on your religion, your political affiliation. But then elections have been held. You currently have a, 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 a George Weah as president, which means that the status of refugee really does not apply. Oh, the fact is that people continue about two elections. Let me reference you with Togo since 1962, when Olympia were overthrew. As I speak to you, there are Togoli refugees from Budibura camp here. It is a U.S. here brother here. The, the uh, 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 forests are here. Uganda, refugees are staying in Kenya. You know and I know. We have nowhere to go in this country. Do I have you, could, you, could, you, could, you, could, you could go back to Liberia. And the ocean, I'm telling you, yeah. they asked me to stay in Ghana. Budumbura camp. On tired roads, shops open, selling provisions, cars are struggling to ply this uh, route. Some shops closed, some shops opened. Women cooking by, you know, their, their wares, their compounds, you know, people washing, people drying their lines. Now you find hospitals, you find mosques, find schools, find churches in this spot. Life is going on even on the very final day that persons are allowed to live within this camp. Now, it is important to note that you don't just have Liberians living here, but some Nigerians and Ghanaians. Now, we're going to try and go inside to see if we can speak to some of the residents here. Now, the structures themselves, well, some would say are not the best. Foundations exposed, ceilings exposed, rubbish you know uh not uh, disposed of properly someone washing here small small rooms poor ventilation some would say and you know persons crowded within spaces hello ma yeah. what is it because Okay, okay. Okay. Single room and porch. Wow. So, so it's, uh, you would say, um, I would say uh, 10 feet by 10 feet or 12 feet at most by 12 feet space. Uh, there is little to no ventilation. The fan is on constantly, but we are still sweating. Yeah. And uh, so you call it what, a bedroom and then bedroom. a porch. Wow. 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 And I may call Saint Mary's, okay. but I mean to me because of my money. Okay, okay. Who will be the old fridge? Maybe TV look at Saint Mary's, I'll call Saint Mary's. Okay, okay. Now, say, I know, I'm see you after September 13. I'm a person who will be our Hanum. Now, I'm starting the demolition exercise. Son, I had to say, but you know, you know, I started because they said, I'm a chin four. You understand, my dear, she said. Yes. So. Yeah, yes. So say maybe you want to be bubu da ne gu yeso because esida, esida. Obi penaja padia, obi tima eden. E bubu a abra ni pa wode. No. Me fe uchi ni me mu se. I say u pakia na se u pakia na se ne. Me say Andrew. 
And I'm back at my wardrobe now. Yes, I know. Who would I as a reason? I want one black. Yes, and to say, I know who wins it. Like, Uber, 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 you pack in Uber shop with the floor. After parking, where will I go? So, we just hear one person like, Mamma, a simum. Oh, Mumbu, baby, I like, a way I bring car amount for. This is the situation here. She is not a Liberian, she's not a Nigerian. She is a Ghanaian. A Ghanaian living in a. In a porch. I mean, the site, the site is. Uh, it's uh, very interesting. Dry clothes on tarred roads. Oh, wow. And then, there you have it. My brother, Alrighty, so uh, there you have it. Uh, pack things and you know, spoons, uh, slippers, and the likes. But this community, you wouldn't find Liberians in here, this part of the Buriburam camp. Rather, you have a lot of Ghanaians who have been living here as a result of the cheap uh, cost of accommodation. Some are paying 50 Ghana cities a month, some 35 Ghana cities a month. And what they are saying is that they need more time before they can leave. Even as uh, members within this camp have been given up to September 30 to evacuate. While some have started packing their things and leaving the Budumbrum settlement, others are also adamant and are calling for an extension of the evacuation period to allow them to prepare themselves properly to be able to move. Well, what is the local authority going to do after the evacuation period elapses? Well, we've come to the office of the DCE, that is the District Chief Executive for the Gumwa East Area, Mr. Solomon Dakukwam, to get some answers. Yeah, the, the, the issue of... Uh uh, compensation uh, package, I'm sure those here are a responsibility of the United Nations. That's how come they are under the UNHCR. So whatever is due them, I'm sure it's being looked at over there. Um, I, my duty for now does not include considering uh, res uh, resettlement package and whatever. I, I am tasked to bring it to their attention being the DC in the area, that the, the place will be demolished. Whatever is, is, is due them by way of resettlement, reintegration, those things, I'm sure they know the appropriate uh, quarters that handles those things. Can't speak m to it much, but as for the demolition here, for our 30th, which ends today, that is that brings my assignment to an end. The rest is in the purview of the regional minister, and, the, uh, and the, those above uh, as to when they would deploy the team to come and then do the demolition.